Midlands have been described as the Liverpool of the 80s, with their own record label Two Tone, the Specials and Selector have promoted other new bands and developed what has become the characteristic Two Tone sound. Selector took us on a guided tour of the pubs and clubs of Coventry where Two Tone was born. We're just passing the Red House where um, we have a Sunday night scene, steel bands, rock and roll bands, punk bands, Elastic bands. ska bands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the guy there is. There's some gigs there, alright. It's about the only decent place left around here. Coming to for a Sunday night, usually. Can't beat Jungle. Hey, this is where we start. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, ah, yeah. 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 This pub here on the left here. Yeah. yeah. Gangsters was rehearsed and oh, okay. before it went yeah. into the studios. The Binley Oak. Yeah. It's uh, a rare rehearsal room. This is a Hope Nanka where um, there's a couple of discos down here. There's one of the guy who's on our LP cover runs one on Wednesday night. That's just a scar and blue beat disco, isn't it? It's hot and sweaty. Yeah. I came into this from, a, I suppose, a folk bluesy sort of background, what I was doing. And um, the others came in from sort of a reggae background. And, um, and also, I mean, some of us are from Jamaica, two of us are half African, one's white. So you get a whole mixture. I mean, we'll be influenced, you know. I mean, obviously, these influences would be more rock orientated than later coming into reggae, whereas the Gappers and Chinas would be more predominantly reggae, sort of early ska stuff as well. So, um, yeah, it makes a good sort of tight mixture. I mean, obviously, all the kids have been through punk. I mean, you can't come along and start doing, I don't know, old town and old town stuff or something. I mean, you know, it's not a calculated thing. I mean, we've been through punk as well. And so the music that we do reflects that sort of energy is still in it. You know, but it's sort of mixed with the ska and that game. Do you feel that your music sort of social or has a political message? Obviously, all music has a political message. I mean, we don't get heavily into the political thing. I mean, we just state things as we see them. You know, there is unemployment, so we do a song which is every day things are getting worse, you know. Dog and all the at work, you know, which is a sort of a Jamaican expression for, you know, it's just no damn work at all. So everyone's just got to go out, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've got another one, Danger, which I suppose, you know, sort of applies to, you know, the sus laws, things like that, you know. And... Um, so, as I say, you know, we don't sort of trot onto the stage and start barking out this wonderful political message. We just state things as we see them and let people take their own ideas from that. Mm. Being a girl, people expect you to sing nice songs when you're starting out anyway. And rather than get into all that scene, I decided that I'd do it myself. So I got myself a guitar and tried singing and sort of found an audience at folk clubs and things, you know, that would listen. And sort of took it from there, you know, obviously these guys heard me sing and sort of asked me to come and sing in the band, which was the way I wanted it, rather than, you know, sort of go through the whole sort of working men's club scene and stuff like that and wearing pretty little dresses on stage and trotting out nice little ditties like tie a yellow ribbon thing. So I did it my way. <laughs> <laughs>
say goodnight now. So from the selector and the body snatchers, the whole of two-tone, to all right now, it's good night. It's time to be out on the streets again. <laughs> Oh!